What is going on everybody? My name is Chris Chan, the founder and CEO of Active Age Daytime Senior Care. And today we're gonna to talk about you know, how to advertise your adult daycare center, where you should advertise, who should you advertise to. So one of the most important questions when thinking about how to spend your advertising dollars is to ask yourself this question, who is your audience? Who consists of the majority of the people that you serve? Are they currently enrolled in Medicaid? You know, it, you know, is are there is there a certain cultures? For instance, in different parts of the country, you know, there's adult daycare centers that cater to a population that's more Russian or more Latino, you know, or different cultures, different ethnicities, and the different like types of food and the different types of music and the different types of activities that you might have at your center. You know, you might try to cater to that different culture because the majority of the people that are attending there, they enjoy that. That's their comfort. It's what they enjoy, it's what they look forward to. So you have to ask yourself, before I spend money on advertising, who is my audience? You know, and, and then when I know that, I can create advertising literature that's gonna speak to them. I can put on there, you know, I can you know, put on there that maybe I speak the language that they speak. Maybe, you know, we offer meals that are you know, in alignment with you know meals that they had in you know from their cultures, things that are specific to them. You know, I, I might show images and portray you know the different types of activities that we do that are specific to that culture. So when I think about the number one thing to consider when trying to spend your advertising dollars is just really knowing your audience, and that is going to be different for everyone. So you either already know who your audience is or you're trying to attract an audience that you want to care for. And so, you know, I know when I think about our center and what we're doing through our active age concept is, you know, we're catering our audience to the individuals who love that Margaritaville coastal theme. They enjoy the beach or they enjoy the environment that you're going to find in the Caribbean. If, if that's something that you enjoy, something that you like, then we are going to be the perfect place for you. And it doesn't matter what culture you might come from because we're creating a culture that people enjoy. And we're creating a culture that people are gonna be excited to come to. And so what we do is we use imagery. You know, we, we have images of the inside of our place. We have images of the food. We have the images of the different games and activities that we're playing to attract people that are gonna enjoy that environment. So that being said, knowing your audience is number one. So one, who's your audience? Number two, you know, what is their culture? You know, what are things that are unique to them that is going to attract them? That's going to make them feel comfortable, make them feel like they're at home. And then number three is going to be the financial kind of the demographics on the financial side. So, you know, is it, are, am I focusing on the Medicaid population? Am I focusing on private pay? Am I focusing on maybe VA or other insurances? So again, once I've identified the audience, I know the culture and I have identified, is it Medicaid, is it private pay? Is it VA or insurance? Like who am I primarily targeting, right? Once I've identified those things, now I can decide where do I go? Do I spend that money on Google leads? If I'm private pay, it might make more sense for me to spend money advertising on Google leads. If it's Medicaid, it might make more sense for me to build relationships with case managers with each you know, Medicaid uh, company, with each insurance company at every MCO. You might go to a state that does not have a Medicaid managed care organization. You might build Medicaid directly, but am I building relationships with those case managers? Am I helping them to understand who I am so that when they have people that are in need of adult daycare services, they can send them my way. And do they understand the culture and the environment that I've created so that they understand and they feel comfortable sending people my way. So if I'm a Medicaid provider, I'm gonna probably spend more time and effort building relationship with case managers. If I'm private pay, my relationships that I build might more specifically be with like uh, neurologists and other Parkinson's or dementia focused physicians that are kind of have a specialty in the senior care, the geriatric world, I might spend more time kind of catering to, to them, catering to like a Parkinson's support groups or all of them support groups or 
dementia support groups that are gonna be held locally. I might be you know, catering some of my services to those that need uh, home care. If they need home care, they might be a great candidate for us in adult daycare. If I'm focusing on the VA side of things or other insurances, you know, on the VA side, am I building that relationship and putting together the contract, the local VA office? Have I built the relationship with the veteran services officer in town so that when they come across someone that is in need of our service, they can help them get qualified and then they can help us, you know, get enrolled. And then, you know, with other insurance companies, are there, are there certain Medicare Advantage plans that might be offering adult daycare services? And if so, have I built those relationships? Have I built the relationships with long-term care insurance providers? So you might have families that might be private pay and they might have a long-term care plan. And have I built relationships with those long-term care insurance agencies? There's a lot of ways that you can do that. And by doing so, you can cater your advertising to meet the needs of your audience. So that being said, you know, it's important that you spend money on advertising, but it's just as important that you spend the money in areas that are gonna be directly beneficial to the audience and to the demographics that you're trying to attract for your center. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this episode. Hope this was helpful. Hope you learned a lot. If you'd like to learn more about opening up your own adult daycare center, if you'd like to learn more about the franchise model we're about to launch, make sure you go online to chrischana.com. Check us out online, see what we got going on, and we'd love to help you build your own adult daycare business and make you a successful senior care entrepreneur. Thank you so much, and we'll see you soon. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you'd like to learn how to open your own adult daycare center, go to adcpro.com. If you'd like the latest business tips, click here, and make sure you subscribe to our channel, click here. We'll see you guys next time.